anything. You could use a pillowcase or whatever. Um, I'm actually going to start with some really big just shoulder circles with one arm. And then take it in front of your body. Whoops, until I throw the towel works great. <laughs> And then other side, feel like we get a little more shoulder range of motion every once in a while doing circles with one arm. And then take it in front of your body. Oh, that just feels good already. All right. Now I'm going to take it in my hands, kind of wrap it around my hands a little bit. And then from here, just to start off with, I'm going to go from my chest into a squat and reach. Of course, as you sit back, really put some good tension on your towel. Now, I'm not so concerned that we squat deep as when you drop your hips back and you reach up with that towel, you're going to get a really nice pull on your shoulders. Oh, I feel all these snap, crackle, pops. Hopefully you're feeling the same in a good way. Go three more right here. Oh, that feels nice. All right, let's go feet a little wider. I'm gonna switch my mat direction here. Feet a little wider, and we're going to go just into that nice lateral lunge. And as we do that, again, sink your hips back. This time, let's keep arms straight. And as we go side to side, let's just reach the towel over your head, getting a little more into the shoulders and into the adductors at the same time. If you need to, put a chair behind you so that as we do these side to side, um, lateral lunges, you're really letting your hips sink back. All right, let's do two more to each side this way. All right, and then set the towel down for just a second. Pin that forearm right on that uh, bent knee. Let's rotate up. We'll do that to the other side as well. Come on back to the other side. Pin that forearm. Rotate up. Nice, and then stand it up. Now let's take that towel once again. We're going to keep our feet so nice and wide. And we're just going to try to go down the front of your body. So you feel a little hamstring stretch. And then scoop it up. We'll do this with both feet and then with one. Like you're brushing the front of your legs with the towel. And as you stand, you should really kind of feel a nice little gentle hamstring pull there. Squeeze your shoulder blades as you bring it back down to your chest. Am I the only one that feels like Rice Krispies over here? There's like little pops everywhere. Oh, that feels nice. All right, let's do three more of these, just like that.
Oh yeah. All right, now that the shoulders are a little looser, let's go a little bit forward and back, just over your head. Try to keep arms straight, still a little tension on the towel like you're trying to pull it apart. All right, before we do some backward lunges, let's do a little side bend. And as you do that, really pull on the arm that's closer to the floor. You should get that all down your side. Then let's bring it down, rotate the other way. Side bend this way. All right, let's do one more to each side. So rotate around, bring it up, pull on that arm that's closer to the floor. Good, come on down, rotate to the other side. All right, let's get just a couple of rotations there. We are so totally not done with that yet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some kneeling hip flexor, but before we do that, um, actually we're gonna do a few other things, but let's do a few backward steps. Just bringing that towel up over your head. Squeeze that glue down the way back. Try to keep your arms as straight as you can. Yes, I'm cheating and holding on to the wall a little bit, but I'd rather have you focus on the range of motion right now, not so much on the balance. All right, let's do two more on each side. Oh yeah, all sorts of tightness going on there. All right, I'm gonna bring it back over here. And then one at a time, slight bend in one knee. So the same one we did with both feet, but we're gonna focus a little more on each hamstring this time. So same kind of motion there. Reach it up. Just gonna go five on each side. So two more on this side. And switch sides. All right, one more there. And don't the shoulders feel nice. I right, take the towel behind you for just a second. Let's just open up the chest a little more. All right, I'm gonna take my mat this way. And let's come down onto one knee. Again, wrapping this around your hands. I'm gonna start with it at my knee and leaning in, squeezing that back glute. We're gonna go forward and back a little bit. Let's do five times on each side. Try not to arch your back though. All right, on this last one, I want you to squeeze that back glute. Let's do another little side bend here. All 
Good, bring it down. Pin your forearm on the front knee. Let's rotate out the other direction. All right. And then let's take your towel, put it around your toes on the straight leg. Let's just get a nice little pull over here. And then, of course, let's take it underneath that back foot. Bring it up. Woo, squeeze that glute. Lift that same arm up in the air. All right, gently let it down. Fantastic. All right, let's take it to the other side. And five times, so again, starting at your knee, wrapping the towel around your hands. Let's lean into it. Squeeze the back glute as you do. You should be able to go a little further each time, hopefully. Let's get one more here. Good, squeeze that back loop, give it a little side bend. All right, set the towel down for a second. Let's get a nice little T-spine opener here. Doesn't that feel nice? Yes, it does. All right, straighten out that front leg. Right, put your towel around that foot again. Let's get a nice pull there. A little bit different hamstring stretch. I like to hold it with the opposite hand. And then take it up. Let's get it underneath the back foot. All right, and pull that leg up. Squeeze that back glute. Can reach that opposite arm, same arm of the leg, you yeah, back up. Trying to turn y'all into pretzels. Kidding, trying to turn myself into a pretzel. <laughs> All right, gently bring it down. And then I'm going to come just both knees on the floor here, as wide as you're comfortable. And I realize this may not be super comfortable for everyone. You could also do this with your elbows going onto a couch or something, still holding the towel around your hands. Let's just bring it forward, allowing a nice good pull, and you're going to kind of pull back on your hips. You need a little more pull behind your shoulder blades. Wow, does that feel good? All right, I'm gonna flip over here in a second, but before I do, I still wanna do this one with one leg out to the side, but with the towel around your hands. And as we lean back, same thing, just really reach it out. We're getting our inner thigh, getting the shoulders all at the same time. All right, bring it up. Let's switch sides. There we go. Really pull back on your hips. Keep a little tension on your towel. All right, come on back up. 
And before I flip over, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna bring it behind me. One arm at a time, one elbow coming over your head. I'm really sorry if the traffic's loud. I tried to have my door open so it's a little brighter in here. We have clouds in Arizona. It's kind of an anomaly, but uh, it's a little darker in here, especially without my Gotham City wallpaper, which I'm missing actually. Switch sides, ooh, one side's tighter than the other. Relax your neck up. And then let's take your towel and I want you to bring it behind your neck. Come up in front of your head. We're gonna go up, back and forth, behind and in front. As you do that, I want you to really squeeze your shoulder blades back and try to relax your neck. This should open up your chest. A little more range of motion in those tight shoulders. Oh, that feels good. Let's do two more. All right, before we totally lay down, I'm just gonna sit this way. Okay, let's wrap your towel either around one foot or both, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna hold on to it with my right hand and then with my left hand, so I'm using this to stabilize me. Open up your upper spine and then fold it back. Lean back, open your chest, we're just moving in the upper spine, not lower. We'll just do five like this on each side and then we're gonna lay down for the magic. All right, put the towel on the other foot. Scooch my butt back here. All right, here we go, five times, lean back. Really try to let your eyes follow your hands, open as wide as you can. All right, last one here. And let's take it all the way to the floor. Actually, I'm just gonna leave that around that foot. Sorry, readjusting on the mat here. There we go. All right, so we're getting a little calf stretch, hamstring stretch. And I want you to take that other leg, let's bring it up and down. And try to go five times on each. All right, I'm gonna go this way first, trying to keep your upper body where it is. See if we can bring that leg to the other side. Try to pull it towards you a little bit, just to your comfort level. You should get that all down the side of your leg. Let's try to keep our upper body where it is. Play around with the position until you feel that all the way up and down the side there. Then as gracefully as I can, I'm gonna bring it the other way. So again, trying to keep our upper body still. Let gravity in the towel help find wherever you feel a nice, nice stretch in your inner thigh. You might also feel that over here a little bit. And then let's take the towel, bring our knee across your chest. Ooh, hello glutes. So I'm gonna hold on with this hand and I'm gonna give it a little extra pull with my other hand.
Definitely play around with that position, see where you feel it the most. All right, then I'm gonna set my left leg down and pulling my right knee over my left leg. And I'm just pulling on my foot with the towel. If you get in just the right position, you should feel that all the way up to the side of your glutes and your hip. Oh my gracious, does that feel nice? But I guess we should do the other side. <laughs> All right, so let's start off with, ooh, nice calf stretch, nice hamstring pull. Up and down five times on the other side. All right, there's the last one. Try to keep your upper body nice and still. And let's take that leg across. Play around with your angle a little bit. I definitely feel it more if I pull it a little more towards my head. All right, other direction. Woo. It is hard to keep the hips down. <laughs> All right, let's cross it over. Nice figure four here. Holding on with the towel, and I'm gonna give it a little extra pull with my arm. But play around with your angles, whatever feels best for you. I like to put a little extra torque just on the, the outside of the knee here with the IT band inserts. And when you do that, you should feel a little more pull up here in the glute area. All right, I'm going to set it down. And once again, just pulling with my towel over here just to get a slightly different angle on it. All right, letting it go. I'm gonna do a little rear foot elevated here, but before we do, knees towards the ceiling. Once again, let's just do a little hip rotation. Trying to keep your upper body nice and still. Hello, chair. <laughs> We'll just do three to each side. All right, and then of course, if you've got something you can put your foot up on, anything soft will be great. I'm gonna come over here by the couch. One foot up so that the foot is totally relaxed. Bring that other foot forward. And since we still have our towel here, I'll try to wrap it up in the next minute or so. We're nice and warm. Fold your heel back towards your butt. I know y'all might get sick of this one, but I don't ever get sick of it. I think there's no greater hip flexor stretch once we're nice and warm. Let's do two more here and we'll switch sides. All right, little side bend. All right, let's switch sides. See if we can just get a little pull in here. Your hips will thank me later, I swear they will. All right, fold your glute towards your heel. Try not to arch your back. All right, last one. 
Give it a little squeeze, pull to the side. All right, bring that foot down. Before you stand up gently, just get one quick neck hammock here. Take the weight off your head and your neck just for a second completely. All right. I always wish we had more time on Towel Tuesday. But hopefully everything's moving a little better. 